Hello, everybody. It is I. Again. Hello, uh, welcome to the stream. I hope everyone is doing okay on this fucked up weird day. And, um... I'm here to play some LEGO Star Wars. And, uh, maybe hopefully have a share a laugh or two. And... What else? Oh, and show you something related to Half-Life and Doom both at the same time. So, yeah, uh, hope, uh, hope things are okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I would like to start before LEGO, which, as you know, is going to be, uh, me just looking for blue tit milk from, uh, Luke. And then, of course, like, wide Kylo Ren, and that's pretty much it. Like, at this point, you know, I'm no longer interested in the source material, so I'm just having fun playing the game. But before we do any of that, there is something kind of neat that I was asked to talk about, and I said, why not? It might be fun. Um, Vinny, any, any Lego Muppet plans? There is no Lego Muppet game. I think they only sell minifigure blind boxes, right? Like, you can buy, like, a little bag of Muppets, and then you might get a Kermit. Is that it? Is that... That's pretty much all there is in regards to Lego Muppet. I mean, I want one. Anyway, um... Vinny, episode 9 is really funny, and the game shits on the movie constantly. <laughs> oh, man. I know what you're doing. You're trying to... You're stringing me along so that I'll play it. Okay, I want to do something um, to start a little bit different. Something kind of interesting. There is a new website from the Rate Your Music people who got in touch with me. And um, they wanted me to talk about this. Not that I had to. There's no reason for me to. But I thought it might be fun to cover a little something. You know... Rate Your Music basically has people log in and rank and rate their favorite music. They're doing the same thing for games. And it's still relatively new, but there's already charts. And I wanted to just go through the top, like, 100 games that people have rated. You, you do not have to participate in this whatsoever. But I just thought it might be fun. Oh, it's going to be inaccurate. It's definitely going to piss people off. I mean, I remember there was that... It was Metacritic, and it was just Ocarina of Time and Metroid Prime for years. So now, there's a new site for this, and I just want to see what the top games are. As far as I've scrolled, this is as far as I know. So, let me get mad. Okay, so uh, let's start. We got Bloodborne. Now, how much of this is recency bias, and how much of this is greatest games? I love Bloodborne. I think it is genuinely amazing. Is it the best game ever? I don't, I don't think it is. But I don't know. I mean, I think your personal tastes are going to be a huge influence here. And then you have... Is this the DLC? So it's Bloodborne and it's DLC in 1 and 3. So... Maybe there's a way to consolidate the DLC into a separate list, but hey, I think Bloodborne is great. I'm not going to complain about number one Bloodborne. Uh, I've not played Disco Elysium, but again, this is a brand new video game. Is it like number two best of all time? I don't know. The site is still pretty new, and I think the charts update once a week. So then we got Bloodborne Old Hunters, which I thought was a good DLC. Well, brand new compared to the history of video games, my friend chat member. Uh, Silent Hill 2, I love. I wouldn't say it's the fourth best game I've ever played, but I like it. And um, it is probably the best type of that game. Mother 3. This feels like fan favorites. Which, I guess, ultimately is fine. But Mother 3 is really great and... It is probably the best rated JRPG on this entire list. It is, so yeah. A Snake Eater is number is number six. 
Okay, question. How much Metal Gear Solid are we going to see in the top 50? This isn't a music chart, right? No, no, no. This is the games themselves. So, I guess there isn't as much of a recency bias as I expected. Because Snake Eater is extremely high on the list. And that's from 2004. Which, again, history of video games and all that. It's still kind of recent. I do love Snake Eater, though. How else do you expect to be rated other than fan favorites? Um, yeah, I guess you're, you're right. <laughs> um, I guess critic reviews, but then what are they judging the games on, right? I mean, listen, do memes have any influence on this list? I don't know. Vinny, that's just because you're a boomer. Mate, I'm a... What is it? I'm a boomer. Anyway, Elden Ring is number seven. So, that is extremely, extremely recent. Dark Soul? <laughs> Who did fucking Miyazaki made this list? So yes, Elden Ring followed by Dark Soul. And uh, then Metal Gear Solid 2. So Kojima and Miyazaki made the list. <laughs> Critics judge the game on how much the company pays them. I, I, I wish... I wish you didn't have to think like that, and I wish I didn't have to agree with that to a large degree. It's not always true, but I get why you're so skeptical, because holy shit, we do not have a lot of faith in critics at this point in time. Metal Gear Solid 2 is great. At the time of release, Metal Gear Solid 2 was not the most popular game, and it has been just completely rejudged and re you know examined and i think you know i wouldn't put it in my top 10 you know my top 10 already but i think it's still fucking great um orange box okay remember this is team fortress 2 it's half life 2 episode 1 2 and the original and portal 2 or is it portal 1 portal 1 it is kind of cheating but it is a good series of games, and yes, it is the whole box. So consider me surprised, but also, you know, that's great value. Half-Life Alex, That's interesting. I think Half-Life Alex is an amazing game. The experience of the game is something I don't think I'll ever experience again, because it was the first, like, real big VR game. It wouldn't be in my top 20, but I, I love it. I thought it was great, but, um, yeah, I don't know, um, there's, there's a lot to love about that game, and then more Metal Gear Solid, HD collection, lot of MGS, someone said this list is kind of fucked up, man, I know, but look at, this is all you, chat members, well, not you specifically, unless it's some of you, but this is just community rankings of these games. Uh, uh, granted, this website is still very, very early. Chrono Trigger being number 13 is cool by me, but I love the game. Obviously, it's my favorite game of all time, though not maybe the best game of all time. And uh, I'm just happy to see it up here in the top 20, so that's cool. Outer Wilds is great. Sure. Absolutely. I'll take that. Is it the most fun game to play? I don't know, but I do love the game and it blew my mind and the DLC as well. So yeah, I love that game. I, I, I'm fine with that in the top 15. Me being the preeminent authority on all things video game positions. Vinny, this has a big bias from rate your music users. Well, sure, that's true. But also, if you take a larger subsection of the internet, I would like to see what they would rate the game as too. Uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy is a good spot for 15, and I am 100% okay with that. I'd put uh, Super Metroid higher. I don't know where that is in the list, but Earthbound 16 is cool. Witcher 3 at 17. You know, again, Witcher was like the next step in the open world thing, but I don't have a ton of fun with the combat, but I do love the game. Oh, this is the Blood and Wine expansion. This isn't even the base game. Shit. Geraldo's in there, huh? Uh, Deus Ex. I've never played it. I know I should have. 
I know I should, but I've heard only good things. Majora, weirdly, is the first Zelda game on the chart. Okay, I wasn't expecting that because I guess I thought Ocarina would be up there or um, Link to the Past. Dark Souls DLC. So that's a lot of Miyazaki in that top 20. How many Miyazakis? One, it's like five? Breath of the Wild. And that's getting in there above Ocarina and uh, Link to the Past. Not sure how I feel about that. Pathologic 2. Again, I know this is just my opinion. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I already made my list. <laughs> but I'm just explaining. You're here for my opinion. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching, I guess. I do love Majora's Mask. That's that's good spot for that. What is Pathologic 2? I don't know. Yuma Neko, When They Cry. Answer arcs. Postmodernism. Sound novel. Visual novel. This is memed, right? <laughs> like, this has been memed to the top 25. Oh my lord. No, it's genuinely good. Vinny, wrong. It's a visual novel. Actually, iconic game. Okay, chat. If you say so. But now I'm sad because the music is making me sad. Uh, Planetscape Torment. I don't know what this game is, but that looks like Morbius on the cover. Final Fantasy XIV. One written review. As you can see, again, these ratings are extremely, like, new. Like, here's 145 ratings versus, like, a, a thousand for Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. Hollow Knight. Which, by the way, nice to see some Paper Mario love. Uh, Hollow Knight, hugely popular game that I actually really love, but I do think Super Metroid, there it is, I was waiting for it. Uh, Super Metroid is my favorite of that genre. Uh, Binding of Isaac Repentance, huh? Okay, and that's the newest DLC, so that encompasses all Isaac. Sure. Yumi Neko, When They Cry. What a name. How come this one's not about postmodernism? The fuck? Uh, Shadow of the Colossus at number 30. All right, that's, that, that seems good to me. Pers Sona 5? Whoa! Oh! Social simulation! I've only heard good things about this game, too, so... And it's memed to death, so... Red Dead Redemption 2. While I think that game is an achievement and an accomplishment, I have no desire to play it again. But for its time, for when I played it, man... I don't... I mean, I don't think there are many games that look better than that game. So... Maybe the first one was better, in my opinion. But again, this is chat. This is you, remember. This is you. Fuck you, Red Dead Redemption 2 was good. Is that how we express our opinions? Say it correctly. Fuck you, please. Red Dead Redemption 2 was great. Anyway, uh, yeah, I love Red Dead Redemption 2 on a lot of levels, but I just think um, I'm good. I played it once. I am very happy with that one playthrough. Super Metroid, I obviously plays higher in my own personal list, but it's good to see it here. Same for Portal 2 and Resident Evil 4. All great games. Fallout New Vegas, that is, a, you know, I mentioned a fan favorite earlier. I mean, this game also is just like extremely, extremely popular. But I don't, I don't think... I played a little bit of it, and I think I was just sick of Fallout when I played it. Maybe I'll try again one day, I don't know. Uh, Yakuza 0! There you go, Yakuza made top 50. Which, again, this chart is going to change next week, so... We'll see. Uh, Thief 2 The Metal Age. Again, cult classic. The Thief games. Uh, Fallout 2. And Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which, you know, for me is in my top 10. I'm going for the top 100. We're going to go quicker now, okay? But, 
I realize that uh, you're not seeing the numbers. Sorry about that. Now you can see the numbers. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Huh. This is how Saul Goodman learned how to lawyer, by the way. Kingdom Hearts 2, Final Mix Plus. Not played, no comment. You know I can't comment on Kingdom Heart. But I can comment on Sekiro, which the Miyazaki is very low for the Miyazakis. Every Miyazaki should be top 10. <laughs> but um, I did like Sekiro. But I, from what I understand, there are people that aren't into Sekiro that much. I thought it was cool. Killer7, another cult classic. Surprised to see it in the top 50. I've had um, a lot of people tell me to play that. And... You know, never say never, I guess. But Final Fantasy VI is one of my favorites. Glad it's on the list. Uh, Baldur's Gate 2, okay. I've heard only good things. Uh, we Love Katamari. Still haven't played this one, but I've played uh, Katamari first. The remake, and I loved it. Heart and Gold, not played. Oh look, Mario Galaxy, good timing with the music. So for me, Mario Galaxy would be higher, as you know. Half-Life 2 would probably be higher, but Orange Box is top 10, so... Ocarina is 51. I'd bump that up, but that's still cool. Mario All-Stars, that's cheating too, like Orange Box, but I just think it's a great collection. You get Mario World, and three of the best games of all time, and Lost Levels. Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Now, this is the one with Ocarina on it, and, um... No, this has got Zelda 1 and 2. Which one is this? Because this was like... This had, um... Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Ocarina, and Majora. These compilations are kind of cheating. Because, I mean, Majora's been on the list, and same for Zelda Ocarina, but, you know... I mean, it's a great value. It's a great collection. System Shock 2, I think the System Shock games are getting remakes. But I have not played them. But, again, this is one of those games that, like, as I was growing up and reading magazines about games I didn't have... It was always... System Shock 2 is amazing. Galaxy 2, love it. I think, um, I can't choose between 1 and 2, but I love both. And same for Odyssey, which I'm glad is on this list, because um, there are many, many people who have felt Odyssey was a little too unfocused and overrated. Um, yeah, Galaxy 1, I'd argue, sure, fine, I'd say 1 was better, just because it was the original. But Odyssey, Odyssey, okay, here we go, Linda Richmond Coffee Talk. Odyssey was a good game. But maybe not the best Mario game. I put Mario 64 right next to it, but it is the most fun Mario game to play. So I, I'm happy it's on the list, but you know, down to personal opinion. Metal Gear Solid 1, as you know, that's in my top 10, but it's 58 here. Prime, I mean, you know, we've had the trilogy already up on that list, but sure, we can put that there. And Final Fantasy 7 is at 60. Which, um, that's the, the thing with Final Fantasy, is 7 is the popular one. It's a great one, it's one of my favorite RPG stories, I love it. But, uh, I think, you know, 9 is better. But, you know, I'm glad it's here. That's, this is, again, the list of all of you chat members who voted here, none of you voted, and me, my opinion, so. Uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Hearts of Stone, that's... Another DLC, but not the actual Witcher 3. <laughs> okay. More Phoenix Wright. Resident Evil 2, the remake. Alright, I loved Resident Evil 2 remake. Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. I just like saying it in the stupid voice, but again, I've heard that it is a really cool series, and I would like it. Then we get Final Fantasy Tactics. And yet again, chat will... Shame me for not having played it and try really, really hard to get me to play it. I'm not saying I won't. Trust me on that one. I know I'm going to pulp my viewer retention and audience if I play it, but you know what? Might be worth it. One day. Someone said you won't play it. 
I am a young 37 years old. I have at least 10 years left of, of life on this earth. Maybe I'll play Tactics. Wind Wanker. Sure, number 66, why not? Uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I've not played it, but I have played... Um, what did I play? I played that Songs of Conquest, so I know what kind of game it is. And it's good. So, if that that's good, this is probably good. Uh, Resident Evil, the original. Now, is this is the remake. Which is phenomenal. One of the best remakes ever. And especially with the HD upscale for the PC. Here is more Final Fantasy XIV. Street Fighter. I wonder if they can consolidate expansions and stuff to a different list. I don't know. Street Fighter III Third Strike. Fight for the Future. It's a hell of a name. Original Katamari. There's Outer Wilds DLC. Lisa the Painful. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Huh. I've only heard things about these games and not played Lisa or Ghost Trick, but I've heard good things. Uh, Mario World is already on the list in the form of Mario All-Stars, but I think World is, is like almost the top 10 or top 20 game for me. So. Vampire the Masquerade. Huh. This got a lot of high ratings. Dark Souls 3. And now we see... If Miyazaki can... Oh no, this is Undertale Music! I'm foaming at the mouth! Uh, Dark Souls 3. Now we can see if Dark Souls 2 makes the list. We got Melee. First Smash. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Wow, okay. 2009. No shit, this is up here? Alright. Uh, and Final Fantasy 9 is at number 80. Which, you know, that's in my top 10. But I, that's cool. Just love to see it on any list, really. Uh, Mass Effect Trilogy, not played, heard amazing. Dark Soul 3, not played, heard amazing. Near Automata, not played, heard amazing. Omori, that's brand new. And uh, I don't know what that is, actually. But it was one of those games that became Undertale light in regards to mentions. People were like, Vinny, please stream Omori. I have a deep emotional connection to it. And I'm like, well then... I'm probably going to fucking ruin it for you. So, that is a pass. And of course, there, there's all the stuff swirling around it, so I'm good. Psychonauts 2, that's a surprise. That's another brand new one. And also, not the first one, the second one. Hmm. Mario 64 is in the top 100. Master Chief Collection, which didn't start amazing, but apparently is... Great now. That's cool. Gotta have some Halo on the list. Ultra Kill, which is really weird. But this game has a very dedicated fan base and is extremely popular with the first person shooter crowd. And you know what? I just got done playing it not too long ago. Ultra Kill's fucking awesome. It's not done. And it's on the list, and Doom hasn't made the list yet. Starcraft Brood War. Okay, so the expansion to Starcraft. Uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra. Fair. Okay. Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Love it. Return of the Obra Dinn. Heard great things. Played a level of it. Okay, Diddy's Conquest is great. I see. Uh, 13 Sentinels. Aegis Rim Job. Cool. Don't know what that is. Science fiction, graphic novel, real-time strategy, mecha, time travel. Holy shit. You may Nikki, but 2KKI? Is this the sequel? Can you do that? Can you name something with a 2? Oh, oh. 2 is Ni, because it's Ish Ni San, right? I get it. Uh, Celeste. Okay. I figured that would be somewhere on the list. San Andreas. Sure. Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal over Doom... 2016 and over other doom minecraft i suppose that was to be expected um yeah so and, and hades it's nice to see hades at number 100 let's just check out the rest of the list silent hill 3 super mario brothers 3 metroid dread okay i love dread i'm happy to see it on the list in any capacity so that's great same for diablo 2 lord of destruction yakuza new like a dragon comedy 
Crime. Ace Attorney. Investigations. A lot of Phoenix, right? Blood. Over the original Doom. Over Quake. Wow. That's unexpected. Over Duke Nuke. Dwarf Fortress. Look at that little fella. Silent Hill. The original God Hand. Rhythm Heaven Fever. Persona 3. There's the Witcher. Godo! It's there. 113. Finally made it. Original Resident Evil 2. Dante. Dante is awakening! Devil May Cry 3. Pathologic. Whatever that is. There's your Undertale, chat members. We did it. We did it. We made it to Undertale. Uh, Star Wars Old Republic 2. Guilty Gear at <laughs> XX and <laughs> Cruelty Squad. <laughs> wow, that's a hell of a fucking thing. Yeah. Cruelty Squad, that's just like the entire Cruelty Squad community just voting it to the top. It has an extremely, extremely dedicated fan base, and it is a very crusty game. But it is incredibly unique, so I'll give it that. Anyway, once again, they just wanted me to talk about this. I didn't have to, but I thought it would be fun to go over the top 100 and see how ridiculous some of these are. Um, it's cool. I mean, it's it's rate your music, but for video games. It's called Glitch Wave. If you want to rate and review stuff, you can. This is not a paid promotion. I don't take sponsorships, but they're pretty nice to me over there, so I figured why not. And... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really, uh, I'm not sure, because, I mean, recency bias is one thing, but there are a lot of classics on here that should be on here, and I guess if this is what the Rate Your Music crowd likes, that's what they like. Only you have the power to change this. And Dark Souls 2 did not make the list. Cruelty Squad is good, I'll fight you on this. I'm not gonna fight anyone on Cruelty Squad, don't worry, you can have any of that. That's fine. I think, um, it's great. Vinny, like, none of the top ones were new. 2015, 2019, 2015, 2022, 2011. The top 10 is all post-2000. And half of them are post-2010. I'm just saying. Almost half, yeah. So, I mean, the only... Are there any NES games on here? I didn't see any. So... Vinny 2000 was 22 years ago. All right, well, again, I'm old. <laughs> I, I grew up with the NES. What do you want from me? The best games on the NES, truthfully, though, like, not a ton of them haven't been done better by another game in their genre, in my opinion. But however, Mario Brothers 3, Zelda, Castlevania 3, I mean... Uh, other games? Yeah, Kirby's Adventure, sure, I mean, it's, it's cool. There's some good Mega Mans and stuff. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. We now return you to your regularly scheduled LEGO. Alright, um, booting up Steam and LEGO, and then we can start. What video game ruined the most lives? Says a chat member. Um... World of Warcraft, I'm going to say. I like how we all came to that answer at the same time. Okay, just a second. We're going to get Lego Star Wars captured. All right, here we go.
League of Legends is more life-ruining. Okay. Johnny, cut. 